Hello everyone, Michael Wolf for WatchReport.com. Today we're going to take a look at a very cool carbon fiber cased watch. This is the Ventus Black Kite. This carbon fiber watch retails for $4.99, which is a great price point for a carbon fiber case. And I'll get into that just you know briefly a little bit later. So uh, I wanted to start off by showing what it looks like on a seven and three quarter inch wrist. It's a 42 millimeter uh, size case, 50 millimeter lugs. It's got 22 millimeter lugs at the strap for the strap, and it's 13.5 millimeters thick. And at that size, it's very modest on my wrist. I think it's going. It would satisfy quite a few people unless you're just flat out into oversized watches i think you would really enjoy it as far as size goes now the strap i just wanted to point out it's in the last sizing hole i'll talk about that as we as we get into to the review a little bit later so let's get this off the wrist i've i've had the opportunity to review a few other carbon fiber watches in the past and this is actually the first what the company is calling dark wood carbon fiber it's i guess a fancy way of uh saying layered carbon fiber where as you can see i think pretty well here in the video you can see the striations which make it look very similar to like a wood grain so what makes that different from the other carbon fiber watches that i've reviewed well let me grab this other carbon fiber watch here that I've got real quick. I'm gonna try my best not to show the branding on the other watch. I just want to use this as a comparison. And let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit. There we go. Really good shot there. You can see the differences. The top watch is the Ventus Black Kite, which is the dark wood carbon fiber. The bottom watch is what is known as shredded carbon fiber. Now, I think that's a good enough look. What's the difference? Uh, well, again, it's just the, the black kite that you're seeing in front of you is the layered dark wood carbon fiber. The other one's shredded. Uh, is one better than the other? Well, I guess that could be uh, a debate for for another time what I can say is that the two companies that I've reviewed for had some concerns over the layered carbon carbon fiber uh, cases that there was some separation that could occur with the carbon fiber haven't seen that with the black kite don't see that it's going to be an issue but um, but I was advised that that is the reason why they went with the shredded over what you're seeing in front of you, the, um, the layered. Now, what I can say is uh, to the touch, the tactile, the feel of the layered carbon fiber is quite a bit different than, than the shredded. The, the shredded carbon fiber cases almost feel like, for, for lack of words, almost feel like a, like plastic or something in that family uh, but they're, they're not but uh, th they have that really lightweight kind of tactile feel that you would feel that you would have with with say a plastic of some sort this almost feels this layered carbon fiber almost feels a little bit like a um, like a titanium or some kind of lightweight metal so uh, that was probably the biggest, besides the layering, was the biggest difference that I noticed right away. Now, the um, the black kite comes with a screw down crown, and it is signed with the Ventus logo. And, and something that a lot of people that that have been looking into possibly owning a carbon fiber cased watch may not be aware of, you should be very conscientious about the crown and and most of the well the one of them that i reviewed was a push pull crown this one and the one that i just compared it to were screw down crowns you need to be really careful with uh screwing down crowns on carbon fiber 
case watches because uh, you can almost torque it down too much sometimes to where it could potentially crack the carbon fiber or cause separation with the carbon fiber. So just be, be aware of that and um, just don't over tighten. I've actually, believe it or not, I've actually seen too much torque go into the case and the carbon fiber either crack or separate. So it does happen. The, um, the black kite comes with a sapphire crystal. It's a dome sapphire crystal because you, you can see that, that it, the reflective nature of it shows the doming. It has a very sterile dial, which is, is quite attractive. I, I like that with this particular watch. And uh, the sandwich dial it is also very attractive with the vintage loom. I mean, it's just it's just a great combination, especially with the dial being so sterile. At least it's a it's a preference of mine. I don't like a lot of writing and branding on my dials and, and so forth. Some may like it, but but I just like this sterile dial overall. The vintage loom ha has some nice properties. Let's see if I can um, can get that for you in the the video real quick let me charge it just real briefly and there you go that's just after a brief run under the lights that you just um, saw so pretty good loom for vintage loom the um, the case back is stainless steel. Uh, it's got the Ventus logo. It's there's nothing spectacular about the case back. Now, one of the other differences that I've seen with the carbon fiber case watches, one of the the past uh, pieces that I reviewed actually had the case back screwed right into the carbon fiber. Well, I've actually been advised that that's not necessarily the best way to, to go about it because of the carbon fiber being, uh, I guess, brittle in some some uh, instances instances with that type of uh, machining. So uh, most companies actually opt for a core. So this watch actually has a steel core which houses the movement, which is an NH Seiko NH35, very high, you know, reliable, uh, good quality, uh, Japanese movement and the case is enclosed around that core so it's kind of like I don't know I don't know if it's like a heat um, property that that gives that seal I, I don't know but it <clears throat> it does wrap around that core and uh, holds everything in place quite nicely now the, the watch that I was comparing this to earlier has a titanium core. So this has a little bit more weight and heft to it than, than something that would have a titanium core. But just wanted to make, to make sure everyone understood that the Ventus does have a core rather than the case back just being screwed right into the carbon fiber. Uh, really cool strap. I thought at first it was a carbon fiber strap. Eh. It looks like one, but I, I don't believe it is. Um, the, the specifications didn't indicate that it was, but it, the strap is very high quality, great stitch work, uh, leather backed, so it's going to feel really comfortable on the wrist. The only issue that I had with the strap overall was the length. As you saw on my seven and three quarter inch wrist, I was in the last sizing hole. So when you're going to have an eight inch wrist or larger, you're going to have a hard time with this strap. So just keep that in mind. I think that's an issue that a lot of Asian companies are, are uh, having right now are, uh, in, is in regards to the strap length. Now, one of the other really cool features of this particular uh, watch uh, compared to other uh, carbon fiber watches that I've, I've seen in the past is this actually comes with the dark wood or layered carbon fiber custom buckle Whereas most of the other watches will come with a titanium buckle or a uh, stainless steel buckle or so forth. So it's really cool to have the corresponding buckle to the case, same as the, or to be the same as the case material. Two keepers, which is uh, a necessity with this one because if you didn't have two and if this one right, right here wasn't fixed and right up at the edge, um, then your my strap, this strap would just dangle around a little bit right at the end and that would just drive me insane. But there you have it. This is the 
Ventus Black Kite Carbon Fiber, or Darkwood Carbon Fiber as they call it, watch it retails for $4.99 stainless steel core sandwich dial 100 meters water resistant 42 millimeters and again if i didn't i think i just stated it but it retails for $4.99 in relation to some of the price points on uh, micro brand carbon fiber cased watches out there it's a steal of a deal um, because most are 600 or more so i think you would be very happy with this particular watch um, overall for your first carbon fiber watch so definitely go on over to watch report check out the the full written review i'll have some uh, thoughts comments photos maybe there that i didn't share here and stay tuned for my next video here on watch report thank you